Hey guys, welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can change your profile picture alongside with the background picture as well. Now in the previous video what we did was we successfully customized our login and registration page that comes from the Breeze authentication package. And like I said in this video we're going to be changing the profile and background picture. Now let's get started but before I do that I just want to talk about the logic behind this so to do that what we need to do is we need to either have a table where we can have columns to save our profile picture and our background or we can just add a few columns inside the users table that is uh, that comes with the breeze authentication now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding these two columns the profile and background column inside the users table now as you guys can see I don't have any columns for storing my uh, photos on the profile and background photo so I'm, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be adding these two columns uh, inside this table now to do that what we have to do is we have to go to a terminal and then simply type in PHP artisan make migration and then add our column name so I'm gonna name my column profile image so add profile image to users table and then table equals to users now as you guys can see migration has successfully been created and if I go to my database folder migrations folder as you guys can see this is the file that has uh, been created with this uh, command now what we need to do is we need to run this command once again but with a different name for our background photo so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna run the command once again and I'm gonna change the profile picture column name to background picture so background picture sorry background image and I'll just hit enter and as you guys can see another file has been created here now what I'm gonna be doing is inside the profile image I'll create a column so sorry so I'm gonna name it table and I'll select the data type as a string and then I will name it profile image so profile image and I'll do the same thing with the background one so table and I'll also select the data type as a string and I will name this background image Now let's uh, run the PHP artisan migrate command to migrate these two columns inside our table. Now if I refresh my database, as you guys can see, the two columns that we just created right now. And this is how you can add columns into an existing table. Now, okay, now what we need to do is we need to create a page uh, in a route. To, so when we click on the profile, it should take us to that route. So to do that, first of all, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making a controller. So I'll just type in PHP artisan make controller and I will name a controller profile controller. You guys can name it whatever you want. Now we'll be needing no models. Why? Because uh, we added these two columns uh, inside the users table and we already have a model for users. So if I go to app models and users this is the model for the that comes with the breeze package so right here I'll be writing the profile image column and sorry about that and the background so background image now let's close these tabs and let's go to our controller so apps http controllers and the profile controller that we created just here now what i'm going to be doing is inside this controller first of all i'm going to be making a page redirecting it to that page so i'll just take a function i'll write down public function and i will name this profile show and then inside the double curly braces i'll write down the code for this so what I'm going to be doing at first is I'm going to be getting that logged in users ID. So I'll just type it here, getting that logged in users ID. I'm writing this down so you guys don't get confused. So to get that logged in users ID, first what we have to do is we have to make a variable. So I'm going to make a variable and I'll name it ID. You guys can name it whatever you want. And then I'll access the auth guard and then the user 
now what you have to do is get me that user's id so this is how you can get that uh, logged in user's id now what we have to do is we have to get um which user is logged in so when we click on the so when we click on this uh icon it, it should give us like that user's name profile picture and all that so how we can do that is pretty easy so what i'm going to be doing here is getting which user is logged in so now i'm going to be making a variable i'll just uh name it data you guys can name it whatever you want and with data what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be accessing my model the the one that i just showed you guys the user model now with user model what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be finding my id and i should uh, write getting sorry finding user id so i'll find which user is logged in with the help of id that we created here so i'll just type it um down here now let's return this so return view now let's make a page for this so i'll go to my resources views and then on tutorial i'll make a new file so i will name this uh profile show dot blade dot php and then i will access that file here so profile profile show and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to compact this data here. So compact data to the profile show page. So now what we have to do is we have to go to the profile picture and I'll just uh, extend my master page. So extends master page and then I will do the same thing with section. So my section is called tut now inside here i'll paste the code for uh, my profile show page now to get that code since i'm already working with the template i will take that page from this template so i'll open my template and um, i'll open profile file so this is the profile page that comes with the template now let's see what do we have here so we have this huge element here and then we have a few buttons and stuff and then a text field so what i'm going to be doing is i'll just take this i'll right click on this inspect and then i'll take the whole element so this is the whole element we'll copy the whole card and paste it inside my section Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go to my header, so uh, resources, views, tutorial, and then header. The reason I'm going here is because when we click on the header, the icon part, there's this profile option. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding a link into this profile. So go to the header and uh, the profile option should be somewhere here let's find the profile option and yeah here it is so i'll just add the link to this route and then we have okay sorry so we have not created a route for this page now what we have to do is we, ha we have to create a route for this so i'm going to go to routes with that php and then since we already have a uh, controller what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be grouping all these routes inside one controller so to do that I'm going to write down route and then I'll go with controller route and then my uh, controller is called profile controller the, the one that we just created right now so profile controller and then class and I'm, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting all these routes inside a group so group function and then I write down the route file here so route route path here so route get and then i will name this profile all you guys can name it whatever you want so profile all and then my function my function is called profile show i'll just copy it from here so i don't make any uh, mistakes profile show and then i'll give it a route name so name and uh, i'll name this uh, profile dot show there we go 
Now let's go back to your header and inside here, double curly braces, parentheses, and I'll write down route and then profile show route. So you guys can see now here. Now let's run the PHP artisan optimize command to clear the routes. Now let's go here, click on profile, and yeah, there we go. As you guys can see. Um, I need to add a BR tag here because um, I don't know why it did not get a break from the header part. Now if I refresh this and it looks pretty nice. Now another thing what we need is we need to add the user's information here like uh, the email uh, and username. So for that I'm going to go back to my template and then I'll uh, just copy one of these elements from here. So let's see which one suits. It's going to also be nice. This element's also nice. Mm, yeah, this one looks perfect. So I'll just copy this, right click on this, inspect and copy the whole element. So let's see if this card belongs to this element. Yeah, I'll copy the whole card from here, copy element and I'll paste it right at the end of this code. Now let's paste this here, go back to our page, refresh this and let's see what it looks like. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So in the next video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be customizing all this. I'll customize all these. I'll add a few buttons to change uh, our profile picture and background. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And if you have any questions, make sure to comment down below. See you guys.